that's not a bit. Wolves. Do you see? Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! I'm in this fight with you! A crush of puny mercy and don't fight. I must be careful now. Search every last house! We watch each other's burn! Stand on the down!
men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! See you, old friend. These woods, father. Oh, these woods. Eivor, hey, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbolt. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Be easy with your grief, Hunwald. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood the rest of your life. No need to worry. <gasps> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness, but let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting. And I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. 
each and every time. A toast. To this great land that bore you. It was here long before your father, and it'll be here long after he's gone. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. She has a great sense of humour, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Before I let it pass, Humboldt, I spoke with Alfgard before this. He gifted me a weapon of your father's. Should I find that odd? Hmm, I'm not sure. They often went hunting together, so it's not strange that he should have something of my father's. You don't want it yourself, as a memento mori? No, no. You're better suited to such gifts. I'm a talker, not a fighter. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England at all? Uh. You can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect them. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Squad. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Go, Zulu. You must hide a fight, Now!
That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunval. And twice? We had luck. But if you're not more careful, someone in Mercia wants you dead. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. Plain and... Hunvald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find a Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. The Shire Mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well.
Tuckway motor room quick. Christy Fidelli and Max Blend. Archer, is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Humwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful Shire Moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunbjör, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, Humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. The septic rot has overtaken this child. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! 